Mark. Nu sitter vi här eh, dagen efter ett 4-1 tap. Sist gång satt vi här efter en 4-1 seger. Hur är er känslan idag? Well, it's not a great Monday, is it? Only that's for sure. When you look outside there at the weather, it <laughs> exacerbates the feeling. But uh, no, it was a massive disappointment. Really disappointed because it looked like we had a lot of people in the ground, a lot more people in the ground than we did against Tromsud. And they came with high expectations. And for maybe 35 minutes, they were like me. They were probably thinking, "Well, this is all, we're going to be okay here." And then, uh, so that was the the biggest disappointment. The way we fizzled out and um, and conceded the goals that we did. Uh, the first goal was, you know, so unnecessary to give the corner away and then our defending from the corner has to be better. Um, and when, we, when I've gone through all the goals, um, we have to do so much better um, with that. Um, some of our offensive play was good. Um, I think the stats... There's that saying, damn statistics and lies, but um, we had, I think we had 72% possession, almost 700 passes of the ball, but, uh, 22 shots on goal, I think half of them on target, 9 or 10 on target. They had, obviously, 20% possession. They had seven shots on goal, five on target, four goals. Um, so that tells you a little bit of, we wanted to control the game, but we didn't do that because... I think we dominated in terms of possession. There's no lies, no no doubt in that. But um, we didn't control it because uh, certainly second half they they did what they wanted to do. They sat in and they counted on us. And uh, we have to grow up. We have to man up. And and. You see, the statistics show that that we the first team, and especially in the first game, we were going to especially going to the end two. We should be very proud. What is it that we did not uh, fler mål i den perioden uh, som som vi gjorde mot Tromsø. Um, well, you know, little little moments that change games. Maybe Elliot shot that's fantastic shot. It's the post. He going two one. But we didn't have enough um, truck. We call it here, don't mm. you? Not enough runs in behind them. Not enough uh, good runs in the box. I thought Flocky did well yesterday. Mm. Uh, but apart from him and and and, and Kevin similarly who wanted to break lines and run forward. But we didn't get enough from our midfield players. Um, mm. Certainly our, our two in the lurpers in, uh, in Isaac and uh, Tobias have to play higher up the pitch than they did yesterday. And uh, I'll go through that with them. We'll go through that with them and um, point out what we need. Mm. Uh, we got in love. We got, we were a little bit too much in love with getting on the ball in, in unnecessary positions yesterday for me. We didn't, we didn't carry enough threat in terms of getting in between the lines in terms of getting on the shoulders in there. We didn't need so many bodies in the build-up. Sometimes we did because they, they, they pressed with quite a few mm. numbers, so then you need to, to overload. But there's many times where we've got four people behind the ball against one of their defenders. It's, we don't need that. Mm. Um, but we'll go through that and, um, and we'll look at that. Um, so that, I think that was the main... They, they were the main offensively. Um, we're going to come up against a lot of teams now. We'll do this because they know we can comfortable on the ball they know we like to keep the ball and play they'll, they'll understand what we're trying to do there's, there's good coaches in the tip of league who'll, who'll see what we're trying to do and of course they'll come up with a plan to negate that we have mm. to then come up with another plan mm. um, so we have to be better to, to do the things I spoke about so we have to practice um, as I said breaking lines more penetration in the final third when you see the top teams when they do it they, they, com- they can keep the ball keep the ball but then there's always a threat mm. You know, the German national team, you look at the Man Cities of this world and the top Barcelona's, these top teams, I'm not saying where anywhere. I'm not saying that, but they're the benchmarks. And mm. if we want to play that way, then they have to understand that you have to run. You have to threaten their back line. You have to, you have to be a threat and, and, and more penetration in what you're doing just to pull people around. Sometimes mm. you have to make runs for nothing. And you might have to do that two or three times, just create space for others. At the moment, there's not enough of that. Mm. Uh, we're getting movements and we're getting rotations in deeper positions, which is quite nice, but we're not getting the runs in behind them uh, further up the pitch. So we have to... That'll be a big, big focus this week mm. uh, on that. On that. Uh, I'll emphasise that. To the end, it's the goal of the game. The goal of the game was the first game, and we two more times. For 1-1, we have a very big chance. Yeah. Rätt för Sandefjord score. Ja, ja. 
Og før der igjen, så er Tobias nær på et frispark, og så er det en situasjon etterpå på den corner hvor vi kanskje skulle hatt et straffespark. Yeah, it was definitely a penalty. There's no doubts about that. It's, I've seen it again, and how the referee can't give the penalty is, is beyond me. It's absolutely beyond me. And I don't, I don't, I, I, I don't like to play judge and jury with referees, but it's, it's quite obvious that he, he must see it. Um, and I think he gives it as a free kick anywhere else on the pitch. You know, so if he, I'm sure if he looks at that again, um, then he would say, wow, I, I probably got that wrong. Because I'm looking at it now with unbiased eyes this morning from an objective view. And it is a, it's a nailed-on, nailed-on penalty. So that, that can change games. But, um, you know, at the end of the day, Oli, we're not good enough. We get mm. beat 4-1 because we were naive in our defensive play. We were naive in our offensive play. Uh, and we have to be better. And um, and we will be. We'll work mm. hard. I look forward to the game against uh, Lillestrøm on Monday now. It'll be a different challenge, a different uh, different situation, new game. Yeah, it'll, be a, it'll be a real test for us. But... Um, We'll do the work this week and um, I expect us to come out there and, and be much, be much, much better. Mm. Uh, nå er det jo, det var eh, nesten 5000 tilskuere på kampen. Ja, det, er det, var stemning, det var fantastisk. Og, Our supporters are fantastic. Og det, og det var jo veldig, det står veldig bra ut lenge og så blir det selvfølgelig skuffende når det går hjem. Hva vil du si til supporterne nå eh, som lurer på om de vil komme og se neste kamp? Det er i hvert fall ikke kjedelig å komme og se start. Vi, vi har levert offensiv fotball, men eh, hva vil du si til supporterne nå All, all, I, all I ask, and I said this from day one, was be patient with us. I know <laughs> that's so much easier said than done, but please, please, if you can try and see what we're trying to do, I think we're trying to do the right things. We're trying to play football. We're trying to score goals, um, create chances. We have to be better. We have to be... I understand that. But I do feel with there are good signs there, but... I read a re remark yesterday about potential. We we're sick of hearing potential, and, and it's dead right. We have to, we have to, we have to turn that potential into performances, into results. So um, that's the most. Um, but all I would say is, let's see where we are in two, three months, and then and 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 judges. Then, and to be fair, I think you know I have to say the majority of the people in the crowd yesterday, even right till the end, were, were with us. Mm. Um, and at the end it's just frustration and I understand that frustration I've been a supporter you just watch your team get beat 4-1 and you, you, you want to vent your frustration and that's, that's, that's understandable I have no problem with that um, as long as they're with us through thick and thin that's fine I promise them there'll be there'll be good times here as well like there mm. was that first game and you know there, there will be there will be good times for them as well here so um, we're not going to go 46-47 games without another win and that type of thing so um but we have to be better. We have to man up and we have to grow up quickly. Um, it's, op it's okay being a young team of potential with good players. We have to man up and understand what the tip of league is about and do our jobs and um, and then we'll get some... I just feel it was a wasted opportunity yesterday. Mm. A wasted opportunity for us to be up there in the league and a wasted opportunity to, to really give the town something to wow. You know, if we come off there with a good win, it's wow, we're really going. So now we have to start again and now we have to make them trust in us again. So... That'll be our job.